Warning, I swear a lot. Fuck, a new combat knife, that's amazing. No, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh. Alright. Welcome back, everyone. We're roughly back to where we were before. Like, mostly. Uh, jeez. Oh, I haven't gone back to the prison cells. Because I realized that all I actually did in there was put an electrical part into the switchboard and we need, like, two or something. So I've put the one I have into storage. We'll head back down there later once we've searched this area some more. But, uh, yes, all I know is that we need to go upstairs on this side of the building because... A room over here that needs a crank handle slot. And we can absolutely do that. We're gonna ignore Marvin if we can because I don't want to waste the ammo right now. It's kind of our premium. Let's check this real quick. Roll film. Yeah, I also want to take that to um, the dark room. But the problem is, the dark room is currently, or at least the route to the, the normal route to the dark room, is currently occupied by two, count them, two liquors. And I can't deal with one. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, ignore that for the time being. I can loop round from the upper floor, come down the stairs that way. And the worst I'd have to deal with in that direction would be zombies. We've now got a fresh combat knife, so that's good. I can't crack that safe, not gonna try. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Unlike those other, well, like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It is said that it once adorned a nobleman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there, but, dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Does that have something to do with Chief Irons? Did, uh, you know, did he get the crystal and he was like, oh, It's my crystal. Or was he just batshit fucking insane from the beginning? It's hard to say. There's nothing else in this room. We just have to keep an eye out for a gem, ruby of some kind. Please tell me this is the last time I can use this thing so I can discard it and be happy. I'd like to be happy. Being happy is nice. It's good stuff. It's another raccoon, man, but I do not have the ammo to be wasting on that crap. Chief's office. Unsurprisingly, it's like, oh, I can get rid of this. Just, oh, fucking, yeah. Oh, just, oh. Heart door. Okay, well. Just card that and, oh, fuck, it feels so good. Press room, interrogation room, observation room. Okay. A lot of directions I can go in right now. Hello there, friend. What's up? Oh, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't try and get in through there, buddy. You're going to, but I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. Another heart door, isn't it? Yep. Alright. What about observation room? Can we get in the observation room? High-grade gunpowder, so I can get some more shotgun rounds. Oh, fucking... Do I have that key? I don't even remember. I'm not wasting too much time with you, buddy. Get out of my way. Have no time to deal with your crap. I'll check my, um... Check my box in a sec. I think I have that key, but I actually don't remember. I think it was a spade key we had, maybe. We need a, we need a club key? Wooden boards. This leads to balcony, east storage room, and something else. Let's go for a storage room, because storage rooms tend to have stuff in them, and I'm all about that business. Flash grenade, okay. What have you got? Bullets! I love those, they're my favourite! I fucking love bullets, I do. My American side's coming out, because I love bullets. This is not an attempt at American accent, I know I put on a weird voice, but that- I <laughs> should make that very clear, was not an attempt at an American accent. Like, I can't do a very good one, but I can do a better one than that. Head this way. Surprisingly not locked. Was really expecting it to be, to be honest. Oh, you can't combine the same color herb with itself. I, that does make sense. Because what would you get out of that? You'd just have more of the same thing. There's something alive in this room. Sure enough. 
Two. Two things that are alive in this room. Ah, two things that will never be my problem ever again. It feels good, bro. Feels real good. Feels fucking excellent, actually. Alright, well, I've only... That door's locked, just for some reason. Just because, fuck you, I guess. Because, you know, fuck yourself, because, you know, eat a dick. A large git... Why? 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 What could I pop? I mean, I guess there is the clock tower, and I'm gonna have to do something with that eventually, but... By this point, I'd rather just leave the fucking gear there and wait and see. Eventually find the puzzle where I need the item for, then come back and get it. The zombies in here are dead, so it's not as if I'd be putting myself at risk to come get it. As far as I can tell, that large gear is the only thing in this room. If so, this was a fantastic waste of time. Because I haven't gotten to the clock tower yet, so I would not need a large gear. I've already been here, okay, that's fine. I am ill, by the way. Like, uh, such is my dedication that I'm willing to put myself through, through RE2. Even when I'm sick, I need to loop around the main hall, get into the main fucking area of... Oh fuck, I don't think it's that easy. Go into- oh wait, if you go into the library, go up a floor, which can get you out into the west storage room, go out through that way, this way, dialogue, whatever, go down those stairs, and then we- yes, okay, this works. Alright, to the library then. Yeah, no, I'll pass, buddy. Thanks. Not really interested. Uh, get back to me on that. Oh, fucking god damn it. I forgot this was in here. Everywhere I try to go, there's a fucking liquor in my way. I can't get past that, he's right by- he's guarding the fucking door. Th the game was- Okay, that's a floor up. Fair enough, fair enough. I was getting ready to cool bullshit, but there was actually no bullshit at all. Alright, if we want to get to the dark room, we're gonna have to go through the... Fucking... I can get there, I can tell you the name of it. West office. Sneak through here, up here. And then we can get to the dark room. This confirms that we do not, in fact, have the club club key. Yeah, no, that's a key we don't have. This room's been fully searched. Uh. Ugh. <sighs> There's just no way around them. There's no fucking way around them. I don't want to fight them. I don't have the resources to be fighting liquors. I barely have the resources to fight one liquor. And there's two there. Three, actually, in this part of the building, now that I think about it. There's one in the west storage room. Two around, like, two around this area. Or is this whole part of the fucking game supposed to just be locked off for the moment? I sense that I'm supposed to stop being a fucking wimp and actually take one on, but... With what? Four shotgun rounds and nine handgun rounds? Unless we use the flash grenade, and then just weld on him. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go save. Because I have not actually saved yet. I got back to this point, but I didn't save. For some reason. Let's see what we've got here. High grade gunpowder. Ah! Oh. With that in mind, perhaps... Oh fuck, I made mag ammo! I meant to make shotgun rounds! Oh, well, when I get a mag, that's gonna be fucking unbelievable, isn't it? But... Until then, that's pretty fucking useless to me. Store that. Take that out, take another flash grenade, because the flash grenade will hold the liquor still. Do a big save. Then, we're gonna take on that liquor, because he is too... In that one liquor, especially, is just too in the way. He is really, really in the way. I can't move freely around the fucking building because he's there. The others are extremely inconvenient, but not... ...directly problematic to my exploration. This fucker... ...is right in the way, and he needs to go. 
So we're gonna we're gonna stun him. I need to figure out where he is first of all. Now where was I? I can't see the fucking thing. Perhaps I can sneak past. With the sound of a closing door, draw it perhaps. He's not in here. We're in the clear. Let's go. Alright, so we didn't have to fight him. That's great. Glad for that. This is where we want to use this. Third floor locker. DCM. Okay, third floor. That's good. That's good. Alright, that's great. So we're on this first third floor. Dial lock. Excellent. That is right near where we are. Okay, yeah, no, that's good. We can use that. Wonderful. I hope it has stuff and things. I can't believe they put two liquors down there to stop me from getting to that fucking thing just so I wouldn't open this fucking locker. The DCM, wasn't it? There we go. Mag rounds! I don't have a magnum! Guys... Okay, there's no point going that way. West storage room just puts us back into the line of fire of that fucking... God damn fucking liquor. Go this way, there might be a liquor. Hard to say. But if I die now, I saved very recently, so I wouldn't be too bothered. We need to do something. We can't just keep skirting around terrified of liquors. If I can kill one, God knows I will. I'm just gonna try anyway, because you never know. Nah, that'd be too easy. Fair. Let's get down there. I want to see if we can get to the linen room. We don't even know if that door's locked or not. But if we don't get down there, we'll never find out. This place is a fucking hellhole. Now, I know there was a liquor in here. And there is still a liquor in here. Now, liquors typically react to noise, but they will react to proximity. Give it a go. What the don't, don't swing. Okay, we might be dead. No, we're not dead. Not yet, fuckface. Did that kill it? Did that just kill it? No. Maybe I should just run. Maybe I should just run. Diamond key. Oh, the irony is thick. The irony is real thick. It's thick with two C's. Ow. Well, we did technically do something, but at what cost? I'll answer that question. Pretty high cost, actually. But we still did it. Goodbye. I have no interest in dealing with you fuckers right now. Marvin's gonna get up, but frankly, he's one zombie in a very large room, so I'm just gonna ignore him. Now we can get into the linen room, and I hope to God there's something in there. Store those. Get the key. Because... Fuck. Now let's head through to that fucking linen room. See what the heck's going on up there. Please let there be something in that room. Something good. What could there possibly be in a linen room? I mean, really. Like, what is there actually gonna be? What am I expecting? We did fuck up that liquor pretty hard. He took, like, four shells to the head. So if we come back here with more ammo, we might be able to kill him. He's been wounded, and I don't think enemies heal when you leave them. Damage tends to be fairly permanent. Gunpowder. Excellent. 
There's got to be more in here than just gunpowder. <laughs> Portable safe. I remember those. Okay, that was everything. Well, that portable safe has potential. Let's have a look. This is going to take a while. <coughs> oh, I'm so ill. I hate being ill. Oh, fuck. Yeah. The pressure was real. Because I couldn't remember what I'd already done to get to that point. So, spare part. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, that's significant. That is significant, actually. Okay, that's good. That's very good. We just need to get to the weapons locker without being eaten by a fucking liquor. If we can do that. Why are you still here? Get a life, bro. She left you. You have to move on. She's moved on. Why haven't you? Bro. So we're having a moment, you know. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta be a bro. To dude, you gotta bro, dude, dude, bro. Otherwise, how is... Didn't I turn you into lasagna? Oh, you stay there. You stay there. Good boy. Don't make noises, Leon. That's literally the worst thing you could do right now. Okay, so now we can open every single locker, right? Enter. I'm gonna be doing this for a while, so we'll just cut this out, because for fuck's sake, it's not interesting. Another knife. Do I already have a knife? No, I stabbed someone with that. I stabbed the liquor with that knife. I have to kill the liquor if I want my knife back. And you know I want my fucking knife back. Roll film. Oh. We've now established that those contain the codes for... The thingy locks. Oh my god, is that a hit pouch? Holy shit, that's the best thing I've ever found. Again. Oh, beautiful. Just at the point in my life where I have the least amount of items I've ever had. Just make our way through real... Real careful, like. Okay, well, he sounds pissed, so I'm just gonna run. Ah! No! Where did you come from? Alright, that could be problematic to the extreme. Commemorative photo. Oh, fuck! Is that like the red book that I have? But that's the red book. This red book. Held by a hand at some point. Yeah, a statue hand. Fuck. <laughs> Wish I'd figured that out before. Okay, but now he may be penned in by a fucking liquor. Is the game that cruel? What am I carrying? Okay. Oh, that key's done. Discard. Excellent. So that's, that art room is the second floor of a side. Yeah, we can literally go up here and then go around. Oh wait. No, we fucking can't. Because this building was built by twats. So we have to do this a different way. Oh. No, oh, we have to go back through. Very fucking slowly. 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 Very fucking fast! <sighs> I hate this game. It's a pile of wank and I hate it. It's down to me, just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the soft, uh, sewers. Man, fuck Officer Phillips. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from his museum days. That makes no sense. I brushed her idea off before because fuck Officer Phillips, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't fresh with zombies, but I don't want to see him wet die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about that tunnel. And then he was torn in half. True story. I could be less than interested in you right now. You don't drop anything when you die, so I don't care. Where are the consumables? Left arm of book. Now put book with arm there. Is that a heart key? Are you about to tell me that's a heart key? That's a very big heart key. I don't think it's the heart key. 
Oh, he let it go. He gave me a scepter. Why? Why? What could I possibly need with a scepter? You fucking joke. Seriously, what could I possibly need a scepter for? I'm racking my brain, going over everywhere I've been. And I cannot think of a single place that requires a fucking scepter. A scepter of all things. I remember now. There was an area I didn't investigate. Foolishly did not investigate it and then wondered repeatedly out loud where the fuck I was supposed to go and what the fuck I was supposed to do. Or maybe, yeah, there was a ladder. There's a ladder out on the balcony. Here. Oh, fuck. Please don't tell me this is a boss fight. Leon! Oh. That was a bad fall. Don't, don't, please, no boss fight, please. I can't handle a boss. I have four bullets. No boss fight, I beg you. Damn it, indeed. Water valve lever. That's great, why did I do that? I presume that's not the- Yeah, that's not the solution to the puzzle, okay. The f fuck is that noise? Is that an enemy? Oh, it's just a zombie. Well, two, actually. Which is significantly more problematic. We may have to give you guys a miss for now. The poor fucking Leon, he's doing his best, but he has three bullets and what looks like a broken leg. We should try searching that area, even if we just shoot the fuckers in the legs. It'll be better than nothing, like... We just need to explore, we need things, we need stuff. We need a jack, or we need a way to get up the fucking anything, like, I don't know. Something. As opposed to nothing. This is what this game has been giving me, is a lot of nothing. Why would you come this way? There's a metal bar between you and I. You fucking retard. Alright, now we need to try and focus on his forward leg. Like so. Shit. Go down. I've used more than half of my bullets. There we go. This is not good. Fuckers. God damn it. I might have to loop around them. Oh, this is agonizing. I have not- I have a combat knife. What if I use my combat knife? Don't need no stinking gun. Excuse me? I just didn't get to defend myself. Fucking what? Also, I wasn't at danger when I hit the ground, I'll tell you that much. I was on caution. That shouldn't have killed me, and I should have been able to throw her off. Oh, that sends me back a ways. Oh. That sends me back a ways. Da. 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 Fuck. This game is fucking with me. I don't even remember what I did since the last save. I remember I was about to fight that liquor. Maybe it's good that I died then, because at least I'll get that ammo back. Yeah, no, this is when I was gearing up to fight that liquor, and there was no point doing that. So, this may have been a blessing in disguise. But it's been another 45 minutes, and I've made, like, fuck all progress again. I'll try and get back to where we were for the start of the next episode, but that will come another day, because I'm ill, I'm tired, and frustrated. And I just died, so I don't have to waste an ink ribbon to end this recording, because I've already saved. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm fucking dying on so many levels trying to play this, but... Nevertheless, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Maybe when you're using your knife as a weapon, you can't use it to get the enemy off you, because, like, it was in your hand, and now they've grabbed you. Whereas if your knife's in a sheath, you can, like, you're holding them back, and then just go pull out, stab, and you're good. I don't know. 
Maybe I was at such low health, but I'm pretty sure I was on caution, which usually has not been an instant kill. And I usually get to stab him with a knife, but it didn't let me that time. I don't know, but I've just noticed from that that a good way to deal with zombies is to shoot them in the legs. It's to shoot them in the legs and then knife them. Apparently that's a good way to deal with them. I always underestimate the knife, or I use the knife in the wrong circumstances. I can't win with this fucking thing, even though it's fantastic. Ah, whatever. But thank you so much for watching. I will attempt to sort my shit out for next time and not be as shit. I'll try. I'll do my best for you guys. So, I hope to see you here for the next one, because it will be significantly better than these last two episodes were. I'm so sorry. I'll see you next time. Toodles. Goodbye. I'm so sorry.